Robert Norton Noyce, December 12, 1927 to June 3, 1990, nicknamed the Mayor of Silicon Valley, was an American physicist who co-founded Fairchild Semiconductor in 1957 and Intel Corporation in 1968. He is also credited, along with Jack Kilby, with the realization of the first integrated circuit or microchip that fueled the personal computer revolution and gave Silicon Valley its name. Topic: Early life. Robert Noyce was born on December 12, 1927, in Burlington, Iowa, the third of four sons of the Rev. Ralph Brewster Noyce. His father graduated from Doan College, Oberlin College, and the Chicago Theological Seminary and was also nominated for a Rhodes Scholarship. In the 1930s and 1940s, the Reverend Noyce worked as a congregational clergyman and as the associate superintendent of the Iowa Conference of Congregational Churches. His mother, Harriet May Norton, was the daughter of the Rev. Milton J. Norton, a congregational clergyman, and Louise Hill. She was a graduate of Oberlin College and prior to her marriage, she had dreams of becoming a missionary. She has been described as an intelligent woman with a commanding will. Noyce had three siblings, Donald Sterling Noyce, Gaylord Brewster Noyce and Ralph Harold Noyce. His earliest childhood memory involved beating his father at ping pong and feeling absolutely shocked when his mother reacted to the thrilling news of his victory with a distracted, Wasn't that nice of daddy to let you win? Even at the age of five, Noyce felt offended by the notion of intentionally losing at anything. That's not the game. He sulked to his mother. If you're going to play, play to win. When Noyce was 12 years old in the summer of 1940, he and his brother built a boy-sized aircraft, which they used to fly from the roof of the Grinnell College stables. Later he built a radio from scratch and motorized his sled by welding a propeller and an engine from an old washing machine to the back of it. His parents were both religious but Noyce became an agnostic and irreligious in later life. Topic. Education Noyce grew up in Grinnell, Iowa. While in high school, he exhibited a talent for mathematics and science and took the Grinnell College freshman physics course in his senior year. He graduated from Grinnell High School in 1945 and entered Grinnell College in the fall of that year. He was the star diver on the 1947 Midwest Conference Championship swim team. While at Grinnell College, Noyce sang, played the oboe and acted. In Noyce's junior year, he got in trouble for stealing a 25-pound pig from the Grinnell Mayor's farm and roasting it at a school luau. The mayor sent a letter home to Noyce's parents stating that, in the agricultural state of Iowa, stealing a domestic animal is a felony which carries a minimum penalty of a year in prison and a fine of $1. So essentially, Noyce would have to be expelled from school. Grant Gale, Noyce's physics professor and president of the college, did not want to lose a student with Robert's potential. They were able to compromise with the mayor so that Grinnell would compensate him for the pig. Noyce would only be suspended for one semester, and no further charges would be pressed. He returned in February 1949. He graduated Phi Beta Kappa with a BA in physics and mathematics in 1949. He also received a signal honor from his classmates, the Brown Derby Prize, which recognized the senior man who earned the best grades with the least amount of work. While Noyce was an undergraduate, he was fascinated by the field of physics and took a course in the subject that was taught by Professor Grant Gale. Gale obtained two of the very first transistors ever to come out of Bell Labs and showed them off to his class. Noyce was hooked. Gale suggested that he apply to the doctoral program in physics at MIT, which he did. Noyce had a mind so quick that his graduate school friends called him Rapid Robert. He received his doctorate in physics from MIT in 1953. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. After graduating from MIT in 1953, Noyce took a job as a research engineer at the Philco Corporation in Philadelphia. He left in 1956 to join William Shockley, a co-inventor of the transistor and eventual Nobel Prize winner, at the Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory in Mountain View, California. Noyce left a year later with the Traitorous Eight, upon having issues with Shockley's management style, and co-founded the influential Fairchild Semiconductor Corporation. According to Sherman Fairchild, Noyce's impassioned presentation of his vision was the reason Fairchild had agreed to create the semiconductor division for the Traitorous Eight. 
Noyce and Gordon Moore founded Intel in 1968 when they left Fairchild Semiconductor. Arthur Rock, the chairman of Intel's board and a major investor in the company, said that for Intel to succeed, the company needed Noyce, Moore and Andrew Grove. And it needed them in that order. Noyce, the visionary, born to inspire, Moore, the virtuoso of technology, and Grove, the technologist turned management scientist. The relaxed culture that Noyce brought to Intel was a carryover from his style at Fairchild Semiconductor. He treated employees as family, rewarding and encouraging teamwork. Noyce's management style could be called, roll up your sleeves. He shunned fancy corporate cars, reserved parking spaces, private jets, offices, and furnishings in favor of a less structured, relaxed working environment in which everyone contributed and no one received lavish benefits. By declining the usual executive perks he stood as a model for future generations of Intel CEOs. At Intel, he oversaw Ted Hoff's invention of the microprocessor, which was his second revolution. Topic. Personal life In 1953, Noyce married Elizabeth Bottomley. She was a 1951 graduate of Tufts University. While living in Los Altos, California they had four children, William B., Pendred, Priscilla, and Margaret. Elizabeth loved New England, so the family acquired a 50-acre coastal summer home in Bremen, Maine. Elizabeth and the children would summer there. Robert would visit during the summer, but he continued working at Intel during the summer. The couple divorced in 1974. On November 27, 1974, Noyce married Anne Schmelz Bowers. Bowers, a graduate of Cornell University, also received an honorary Ph.D. from Santa Clara University, where she was a trustee for nearly 20 years. She was the first director of personnel for Intel Corporation and the first vice president of human resources for Apple Inc. She currently serves as chair of the board and the founding trustee of the Noyce Foundation. Noyce kept active his entire life. He enjoyed reading Hemingway, and he flew his own airplane and also participated in hang gliding and scuba diving. Noyce believed that microelectronics would continue to advance in complexity and sophistication well beyond its current state. This led to the question of what use society would make of the technology. In his last interview, Noyce was asked what he would do if he were emperor of the United States. He said that he would, among other things, make sure we are preparing our next generation to flourish in a high-tech age. And that means education of the lowest and the poorest, as well as at the graduate school level. Death Noyce suffered a heart attack at age 62 at home on June 3, 1990, and later died at the Seton Medical Center in Austin, Texas. Topic. Awards and honors In July 1959, he filed for U.S. Patent 2,981,877, Semiconductor Device and Lead Structure, a type of integrated circuit. This independent effort was recorded only a few months after the key findings of inventor Jack Kilby. For his co-invention of the integrated circuit and its world-transforming impact, three presidents of the United States honored him. Noyce was a holder of many honors and awards. President Ronald Reagan awarded him the National Medal of Technology in 1987. Two years later, he was inducted into the U.S. Business Hall of Fame sponsored by Junior Achievement, during a black tie ceremony keynoted by President George H. W. Bush. In 1990 Noyce, along with, among others, Jack Kilby and transistor inventor John Bardeen, received a Lifetime Achievement Medal during the bicentennial celebration of the Patent Act. Noyce received the Franklin Institute Stuart Ballantine Medal in 1966. He was awarded the IEEE Medal of Honor in 1978, "...for his contributions to the Silicon Integrated Circuit, a cornerstone of modern electronics." In 1979, he was awarded the National Medal of Science. Noyce was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1980. The National Academy of Engineering awarded him its 1989 Charles Stark Draper Prize. The science building at his alma mater, Grinnell College, is named after him. 
On December 12, 2011, Noyce was honored with a Google Doodle celebrating the 84th anniversary of his birth. December 8, 2000, according to the book The Innovators, Noyce was mentioned, credited as the honorary co recipient in the Nobel Prize acceptance speech given by Kilby http www.nobelprize.org slash Nobel underscore prizes slash physics slash laureate slash 2000 slash Kilby dash lecture dot html Topic. Legacy The Noyce Foundation was founded in 1990 by his family. The foundation was dedicated to improving public education in mathematics and science in grades K-12. The foundation announced that it would end operations in 2015. Topic. Patents Noyce was granted 15 patents. U.S. Patent 2875141 Method and Apparatus for Forming Semiconductor Structures, filed August 1954, issued February 1959, assigned to Philco Corporation U.S. Patent 2929753 Transistor Structure and Method, filed April 1957, issued March 1960, assigned to Beckman Instruments U.S. Patent 2,959,681 Semiconductor Scanning Device, filed June 1959, issued November 1960, assigned to Fairchild Semiconductor U.S. Patent 2,968,750 Transistor Structure and Method of Making the Same, filed March 1957, issued January 1961, assigned to Clavite Corporation U.S. Patent 2,971,139 Semiconductor Switching Device, filed June 1959, issued February 1961, assigned to Fairchild Semiconductor U.S. Patent 2,981,877 Semiconductor Device and Lead Structure, filed July 1959, issued April 1961, assigned to Fairchild Semiconductor U.S. Patent 3,010,033 Field Effect Transistor, filed January 1958, issued November 1961, assigned to Clavite Corporation U.S. Patent 3,098,160 Field Controlled Avalanche Semiconductive Device, filed February 1958, issued July 1963, assigned to Clavite Corporation U.S. Patent 3,108,359 Method for Fabricating Transistors, filed June 1959, issued October 1963, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,111,590 Transistor Structure Controlled by an Avalanche Barrier, filed June 1958, issued November 1963, assigned to Clavite Corporation U.S. Patent 3,140,206 Method of Making a Transistor Structure Coinventor William Shockley, filed April 1957, issued July 1964, assigned to Clavite Corporation U.S. Patent 3,150,299 Semiconductor Circuit Complex Having Isolation Means, filed September 1959, issued September 1964, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,183,129 Method of Forming a Semiconductor, filed July 1963, issued May 1965, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,199,002 Solid State Circuit with Crossing Leads, filed April 1961, issued August 1965, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,325,787 Trainable System, filed October 1964, issued June 1967, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. Topic Notes. Topic Citations. Topic References. Topic Further reading. Topic External links. Noise biography on PBS.org. Noise Biography on IdeaFinder.com 
Noyce Foundation website Guide to the Robert Noyce Papers at Stanford University Obituary of Donald Noyce, brother of Robert Noyce Obituary of Pro. Rev. Gaylord Brewster Noyce, brother of Robert Noyce. He is also among the Seven Freedom Riders of 1961, and a friend of Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> 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 <la